Hello, this is Pastor Suzette, and today is Marvelous Monday. I am so excited because we are six days away from the Windsor Village Church Family Drive-In Worship Experience. I am so excited to see you and all of the church family. We're going to have three services. The first service will start at 6 a.m., that's right, 6 a.m. The second service will begin at 8 a.m. And the third service will begin at 10 a.m. So listen, throw everybody in the car and come on out on this Sunday, June the 7th, and let's have church together. Now there are three housekeeping notes that I need you to pay attention to. First, we are asking everyone to please bring a face mask to wear. Everyone in the car needs to have a face mask. Secondly, no one will be allowed to get out of their cars. And lastly, there will be no bathroom facilities during the worship experience. So let me say that again. There will be no bathroom facilities during the worship experience. So please take care of your plumbing before you get to the service. I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday, June the 7th. Now on a, more, on a more serious and somber note, I want to address the racial and social unrest that we are experiencing in our country. I have written down my notes, so please allow me to read them because I don't want to miss anything. Thank you in advance. What we are experiencing in our country is ugly and uncomfortable. First, I want to say that rioting and the destruction of personal and public property is not a protest. That creates more harm and it distracts from the cause of the protests. Peaceful protest is necessary sometimes for addressing social change. And in this particular time in our history, peaceful protest is necessary to address racial and social unrest that is centuries old. When a boil or sower is lanced, it is messy and it's smelly. When treated properly, then it heals properly. Our country is going through the lancing process and we are, tr we are trusting God that this situation, that this uh, um, challenge that we are experiencing in our country will be treated properly so that we can heal properly. Church family, this is our opportunity to be on kingdom assignment. So you might ask, how can I be on kingdom assignment? First, through prayer. We understand at Windsor the power of prayer. Don't let it be said that you did not join in the prayer movement during this critical time in our country's history. Our prayers will shape the narrative, not be a re reaction to what is going on. Secondly, you can be on kingdom assignment by the works that you perform. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. Become the answer to your prayers. Trust the Holy Spirit to use you as instruments of peace and righteousness and hope to those that are in your sphere of influence. And trust the Holy Spirit to lead and guide your conversations as you talk to your children, your family, and your friends. We are living in a time that most of us have never experienced, and we are trusting God to fight these battles. I want to encourage you, church family, to stay calm and let God fight the battle through our praying and through us being the ambassadors of Christ who bring peace and hope. Continue to pray for our leaders. Continue to pray for our first responders. Continue to pray for the protesters. God is with us and we are trusting him to bring about peaceful resolution and justice for all Americans, especially African Americans and people of color. God bless you. Continue to pray.